continue now. So please stay tuned for the examples. So now let's begin with part two, the examples. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the examples. Okay. Yes. So I will now share my screen. Let's go with an example of the three baggy system. First of all, I will reiterate the the rules of the three bhagi first before we go to the example charts because this is the second part and it might be good for people to quickly have the rules of the three bhagi division as i said this is termed as three bhagi it is also a brigu dasha nadi based principle of dividing the vimshotri dasha system of 120 years into three parts so yeah. point number one, step number one, divide the Vimshotri Mahadasha into three equal parts. Okay. So we know the length of each of the Mahadasha Vimshotri, like the sun is six years. Then we have the moon 10 years. Yeah. Mars is seven years. Mercury is seven, uh, you know, 17 years. Then we have Jupiter 16 then we have uh, uh, Venus, which is 20 years. Then we have Saturn, which is 19. They have Rahu, which is 18 years and Ketu, which is seven years. Okay, so equally divided into three parts. Identify the next step. Identify the nakshatra position and the zodiac signs the nakshatras are occupying of the Mahadasha Lord. Like example, let us take Rahu Mahadasha, 18 years. So divide it into three parts. So each part is six years each. Correct. Right, right. Six, 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 18. So there are three nakshatras which are associated with them, which is associated with Rahu. One is Ardra, Swati, and Satabhishak. Right. So that is the second point. So Ardra falls in Gemini, Swati falls in Libra, and Satavisha falls in Aquarius. So this is the second step you have to do, is to first identify the zodiac signs where the nakshatra positions is of the Mahadasha. Yes. Third, note these signs and bhavas in the natal chart. Correct. So for example, same example, Rahu nakshatras are active. So what is the, the signs? Let us say Aries rising, Aries lagna. So Ardra, Gemini would be third house. Correct. Then the next is you can see it is um, Swati, which is Libra, which is Correct. seventh house. And the next is Aquarius, where we have Satabisha, which is the eleventh house. Correct. So what is it activating Rahu Mahadasha? It is activating the Kama Trikona, three, seven, uh -huh. eleven bhavas. Yes. Yes. Correct. So first is Dharma, you know, one, five, nine. Yes. Then we have two, six, ten houses, which is called as Artha Trikona. Mm -hmm. Then Kama Trikona is three, seven, eleven, are called as Kama Trikona. And Moksha Trikona is four, eight, twelve houses. Mm -hmm. So understand the overarching influence of this Rahu example, Rahu Madasha example, is activating for this example of Aries rising, would be the Kama Trikona is going to be activated. Yes, okay, Kama houses. Yes. yes. Sequence the zodiac signs in the order of movable first. Then it is dual or dvisobhava, which is mutable and fixed signs. That is the fourth step. Yes. Then yes. the fifth step is identify the karmic influence of events based on the Navatara system from the natal moon's nakshatra. Correct. So what is the natal moon's nakshatra I've given here? First set of nine nakshatras from Janma nakshatra is called Janma. Yeah. That have an influence on the present, which yes. means from your natal moon, count the natal moon and eight nakshatras ahead of it. One to nine, including one. Yes. yes. Add eight, so totally yes. nine. So the first nine would be called as Janma. Then following that from 10th nakshatra from your natal moon to 18th nakshatra is called as Dvi Janma or Anu Janma. This classification it yeah. has a future influence future the events and then the last set of nine from 19 to 27th is three janma which is the past understood yes yes, yes yes so this is what i'm saying 
Janma, one to nine, karmic influence from the present. Dvi Janma, Anu Janma, 18, 10 to 18, karmic influence on the future. Three Janma nakshatras, karmic. This is from always your natal moon's position in the natal chart. Correct. Is everybody understood this? Yes. So then let's yes. go to an example chart. Let us, uh, I will take the example of a uh, Bill Gates. Okay. See, whenever you have to do some research, always go to Astro Data Bank and look at the birth time before you go and accept any time which is there on the internet. Not that all times which are given on the internet. So, and always take in Astro Data Bank, which have a rodent rating of double A or A, which means they are very accurate. Correct. So I've taken it from after data bank. I've corrected it a little bit based on some principles of uh, correction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you can see, this is the chart 28th October 1955. Okay. 21, 21 hours and 10 seconds. This is Seattle, Washington, birth time of Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. He's a, he's a, is a Gemini rising. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And moon is sitting in Uttara Bhadrapada, fourth pada. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let us look at one event of his life. Is I'll show you some different events. Let's look at the marriage event. Okay. Let's go to his. Uh, let me see if I can pull up his uh, Wikipedia chart. I must have here. I've taken two charts. Okay. Wikipedia. So. Ha, here, marriage and divorce. Gates married Melinda French on the Hawaiian island on 1st January 1994. Okay? Yes. They met in 1987 after Melinda began working in at Microsoft. This is from Wikipedia. Okay, let's go back. Can you see? So, 1994 January. Let us go and see what Dasha was he running. Now, I am, we are doing a postmortem. Later on, you can use the same technique to see how it is activating. Okay. Okay. I'll show it on multiple charts, or some other charts also. Not only this is marriage, I'll show career. We will see many other things from this chart. Okay. Yes. See, yes. Uh, in Bill Gates chart, Ketu Mahadasha mm -hmm. was from 1975 to 1982. Yeah. And then he started his Shukra Mahadasha from 1982, September onwards till 2020 years of Shukra. Yes. Shukra is very well placed for him in the fifth house with a debilitated uh, sun. Yes. And with an exalted Saturn, which is giving him a Nicha Bhanga Raja Yoga. Correct. Fifth Lord. You know, and he also has the ninth lord, which is Saturn, exalted. This is giving in the fifth house. Okay. Now, let us divide Venus Mahadasha 20 years. If we divide Venus Mahadasha in uh, 20 years into three parts, so what is the three parts, Babaji? Uh, so it would be six years and eight months. Six years, eight months, correct. Six years, eight months, correct. Six years, eight months, six years, eight months, six years, eight months. Okay. So as per the principles that we saw, which are the three nakshatras which uh, Venus is going to activate, Venus's Vimshotri Dasha associated nakshatras are? So Bharani nakshatra. Bharani. Puro Falguni. Puro Falguni. Puro Falguni, then Puro Ashada. Puro Ashada. Perfect. This is first identify the nakshatras. The next step. Tell where which Rashis are these falling. So Barani will fall in Aries. Write it down. Yes. Aries. So when you write Aries, also write down the Bhava for him from the Lagna. So it is activating the 11th Bhava. Yes. Right? 11th house. Then the next is Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Yes. So Purva Falguni yes. falls in Leo. Third house. Which is third house. Third Bhava. And then Purva Shada. What is Purva Shada? Sagittarius. Yes. Seventh, seventh Bhava is activated. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now tell me the, the, the next step. The sequence of the 
rashis what is the sequence movable dual and then yeah dual and then sthira yes. so yes. aries is first yes then so Over. aries will activate what 11th bhava is activated so yeah. remember all 11th related 11th house related things will be activated for this person correct so aries that is the first part first six years and eight months, eight months, Aries is active. Correct. Next, we will go into the dual sign, which is Sagittarius. Purva Shada falls Purva in Shada. dual yes. signs. Uh, so that will be the next six years, eight months. Correct. Seventh house. Seventh house is activated. Remember that. Correct. Okay. And then the last phase is what third house will be activated. Yes. Yes. Which is Leo. Correct. Perfect. Now, let us go to the lecture slides and let us see what can you see this slide? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've just given for the benefit of the audiences, I've given this Venus Maharasha 20 years divided by 3, 6 years, 8 months. So Bharati Nakshatra is in Aries, Purva Falguri Nakshatra, Leo, Purva Chada Nakshatra, Sagittarius. Oh. Activating the 3, 7, 11. Kama Trikona is activated for him. What yes. is Kama? Yes. Kama Trikona. Third house is enterprise, business enterprise. Seventh house is marriage, partnership. Correct. Eleventh house is gains. Correct. But now the order is mobile sign first. So Aries will come for first six years, yeah. eight months. What is first six years, eight months? 1982, September 17 plus six years, eight months would be till 1989, May 17th. Hmm. So this six is from 82 to 89 May, 11th Bhava is active for Mary's is active. Hmm. Understood? Yes. Next phase, yes. dual sign, Sagittarius will be active. So from 1989 May, six years, eight months will be 1996 January to, you know, 17th January, 1996, Sagittarius, 7th Bhava will be active. Seventh, yes. So, and then the third is 1996 January to six years, eight months, 2002. So 20 years, 1982 to 2002. That yeah. will be this, this period, Leo will be active. Correct. Correct. Now, his Janma Nakshatra is Uttara Bhadrapada, which is falling in Pisces. So the first set of Navatara from natal moon, which is Pisces, would be controlling because the first phase is Aries. Aries will fall yeah. in the Janma set, first nine nakshatras. From Uttara Bhadrapada, yeah. the first nine nakshatras will cover Aries. Correct. Correct? Yes. So that means whatever yes. he is doing in the first phase of his Venus Marcha, he is, he is doing everything in the present, which means he is working hard. If you go and see his statements on Wikipedia also, I'll show, he has said he has never taken a single day off, not even a single day off in his 20s, which means when he was working during this phase, he was always right. invested in the present. Mm. Not a single day off, he says, he's never taken a holiday in his 20s. Right. So that would be this phase. Second set, Navatara, Anujanma. Mm. Okay. So, sorry, second set Navatara. So, is Anujanma, which is something related to future. That is Leo will be involved. So, yeah. third set of Navatara is three Janma past. So, the second phase, whatever he's receiving is because of his past. Because Sagittarius is associated with three Janma. Yes. Understood? Yes. 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 And whatever he's going to do between 1996 to 2002 is something he wants to do for the future. Correct. Not, yes. Future of his himself, future of his family, future for this world. Everything he will do is for the future. Mm. But whatever is coming for him is coming from the past. In this, so understand this classification. Correct. So when did his marriage happen? First January nineteen ninety four. What was active then? Seventh uh, Bhava was uh, active. Sagittarius. Yes. 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 Ninety four. Yes. Sagittarius. Yes. And what is Sagittarius bringing him? Is bringing him a spouse from his past, which past. means it is not from his. Okay. <laughs> this wife is not from his this life. He had had some association. Now, was 
was she a partner in his la last life which means business partner or something yeah that i will you because it's seventh house is active and sagittarius so sagittarius what did we say let's go back and see what is Sag sagittarius did we say dual sign yes dual sign vishnu mm -hmm. satva guna and it is also a fire sign and it is also a dharma sign yeah. fire dharma so she must have had a very spiritual connection from the past life that she has come as a wife okay, okay. makes sense yes. and dual signs are also past so yes. she has come to bring some practicality diplomacy and balance in his life hmm. okay mm -hmm. so understood please Basically, it means when this person will enter your life, then you will start to develop these qualities, diplomacy. And... Exactly. Exactly. Satvik gunas will start coming. You know, that is activating because what is activating for him is uh, Sagittarius is active between yeah. that time period. So what is seventh house? Partner will come. Partnership will happen. So now, one, yeah, last, okay. one thing is, so that means... This answers the query. Many people have asked to me and to you and to every other astrologer. Will I meet my soulmate or past life connection? <laughs> so this, this will answer that. Ah, okay. Got it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, now I'll give you one more clue about the future. When was his future activated in the Venus Mahadasha? When was the future activated for him from the Navatara system? Let's go back here. Which phase of his life is future? Future means, I said, second set of Navatara, moon, Anujanma. Yeah, yeah. Future. Mm -hmm. So, Leo. Okay. When was Leo active in the third phase between 1996 to 2002? Correct? Mm, correct, correct. So, Leo, uh, Leo is active. Now, one event of his life, let us take and see from uh, this. Okay. Because something that uh, have will have a future bearing. What is it? Event is, I will tell you, they founded the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in 2000. Okay. Huh. So 2002, they did. Ha. See, in 2000, Gates and his wife combined three family foundations and donated stocks at 3 billion to create, sorry, 5 billion to create Bell Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which was identified by the funds for NGO companies, blah, 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 blah okay? Mm -hmm. And he has donated assets reportedly valued at more than 34.6 billion. So, which means he has created something for the future ah. when Leo was active, 96 to 2002. This happened in 2000. Correct, correct. That has what it has got, future. Future. This foundation had something with the vision of creating something for the future. Correct. Third house is enterprise. Mm -hmm. It is also documents and you know, like signature and all this. You know. See, absolutely. So, but what you have to also remember is it is connected to Purva Falguni. So, always remember Puro Falguni's influence is always there. So the Puro Falguni features, nature, characteristics, attributes will be playing full on during that phase of six years, eight months. I see. Okay. 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 Now let me give you a slightly different thing of the same chart of Bill and, uh, sorry, uh, Bill Gates is let us go to the time when he actually hanged his boots, which means he retired. Oh, I see. Okay, good. Or he left Microsoft. Yeah. Okay, let us go to uh, and see when did he retire from. Let's see whether. Uh, I think it was 2014, if I remember. Let me see. Find 2014 event. Oh, there are too many to 2014. Here, this is personal, huh?
Hmm. So on February 4, 2014, Gates stepped down as chairman of Microsoft to become technology advisor at the firm to support newly appointed CEO Satya Nadala. Yes. Yes. 2014. Why 2014? So let us just broadly see what was active during 2014. What Dasha was running. Okay. Yes. Yes. So what was 2014? This will fall in Moon Mahadasha. Moon Mahadasha. Okay. So Moon Mahadasha between 2010 years, 2008 to 2018. Yes. So he yes. retired in 4th February 2014. 14. Yes. yes. So let us divide Moon Mahadasha into three parts. Yeah. So three years, four months each. Three years, four each parts. Years. Hmm. So the three nakshatras are Rohini, yes. which falls in Taurus. Yes. Uh, you know, Hasta, Virgo, and Shravana Nakshatra, which is Capricorn. Moksha so, house. Moksha houses are activated. Immediately, ah. you should understand. Moksha means what? Giving away. Ah, I am okay. going to hang my boots. Surrender. I told you here. So when you see the moksha houses are activated, that means what is the basic principles of uh, the moksha houses? This I said it is about dissolution, surrender, ah. forgiveness, forgetting, because Shiva. Hmm. And it's activating his mula, you know, if it is a fixed sign. Okay, anyway. So basically, let us go back. So moon. Okay, what is the order in which the moon signs will be active for him? So for him, Ravan will be activated. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn will Capricorn. be activated for first. Yes. First three years, four months. Then it will be Virgo fourth house. Yes. Eighth house, fourth house, and twelfth house. So let us go and see what is happening for him in the Moon Mahadasha. So again, I have given you for the viewers. Something which is more simplified. Moon Mahadasha, 10 years, 3 years, 4 months. Rohini, Hasta, Shravana, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Activating Moksha, Trikona from the Lagna. 4th house, 8th house, 12th house. So first movable sign Capricorn will be active for 3 years, 4 months. So that 3 years, 4 months would be from 2008 September to 2012 September. Capricorn, 8th house. A lot of transformations must have happened during this ages of his life. A lot of transformations. Then coming to the fourth house. Yeah. Between 2014 and 2015, this is when he actually retired. Yeah. yeah. Virgo. Yes. 2014, February. So fourth house was activity. He wanted to probably take more because you know what? Fourth house is what? Peace of mind. Correct. 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 Mm -hmm. And Virgo is a dual sign. So that Virgo dual sign is activated. And then the last is 2015 to 2018. Taurus, 12th Mahava. So here he is living in a very secluded manner. Hmm. Maybe what has happened during this time has led him into his divorce in 2022. Okay. 2015 to 2018. People should go and retract and see because he's gone into his shell, 12th house. Taurus is activated for him. Mm. 12th house. Okay. So this is how you will actually see the events of people's life. Let me take you one more chart. I'll just show you the beauty of these two charts, why they are very, very, very similar. Is the other chart is of Steve Jobs. Okay. Same year they are born. Same. You see, if you look, they were activating their Venus Mahadasha at the same time because. Two things are similar for them. See, let me go and share my screen. Which is, again, Lakshmi's nakshatra is the most important thing both of them had. Okay. See, moon, just observe this. Bill Gates chart. Moon is at 14 degrees, 38 minutes in Uttara Bhadrapada, Fort Pada. Yeah. And let us go to Steve Jobs. So, sorry. Uh, yeah, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is uh, 14 degrees, 31 minutes, Uttara Bhadrapada, 4th Pada. Both of their moon are exactly similar, very, wow. very close to each other. Wow. Same year born. 
So that means that dashas are also following the same pattern. Same pattern. Same you, pattern. Yeah. So you will see that, you know, for him, the difference is there he was Gemini rising. Here he is Leo rising. Leo rising. Okay. Got it. There when his marriage happened, his seventh house Sagittarius was active for him. Ah. For Steve Jobs, his fifth house where there is Shukra and ah. Rahu there yeah. was active when he got married. Correct. Correct. Sagittarius. Yes. Sagittarius. Now what you have to do is also Babajit. Don't look at only the D1 chart. Also go okay. and see wherever Sagittarius is falling, even in the Navamsha chart, because that is also going to be active. Okay. D9 also. Okay, very good. Even in the Dashamsha, this is uh, Siddhamsha also you go and see, Sagittarius will be active during that period. Okay. So for every chart, it will be So I will tell you, if you go to Steve... Uh, both their charts, you will see one thing very, I have kept Siddhamsha here. Let's go to Bill Gates chart quickly. And I will take one more chart and we'll wrap up because it's been a very lengthy session today. And uh, if people have understood this technique, this is all you need all your life to plan and uh, identify events. Okay, let's go to Bill Gates chart. Now, uh, Bill Gates was running Ketu Dasha. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to his uh, chart and uh, I wanted to see when he dropped out of his uh, of here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here. Gates. Uh, I think, let us see where. Gates remained in contact with Paul and joined Honeywell summer of 1974. In 75, was released based. So he dropped out. Let me see dropout. Let us see where is dropout. Huh. Gates dropped out uh, out of Harvard same year, which means he dropped out in 1975, mm -hmm. right? He yeah. dropped out of school. Yeah. If things hadn't worked out, I could always go back to school. I was officially on leave. Okay. So dropped out of Harvard the same year, which is 1975, he dropped out. Yes. Or end of, end of 1974. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let us go and see what was he running during 1974. You will see he was running almost Ketu Dasha. Okay. Now, one thing you have to see is Siddhamsha is connected to your education. When Ketu Mahadasha is operating or any Mahadasha is operating, look at the Dasha Nath. Dasha Lord, if he goes into 6, 8, 12 houses in the respective Varga, which means division divisions, uh -huh. Then you will see that will be a drop from their education. So where is Ketu sitting? Ketu is sitting in the 12th in the Siddhamsha. Ah, uh, okay. Now, if this Ketu was, you know, is aspected by Jupiter, Jupiter's fifth aspect is there on yeah. this Ketu. Yeah. He was brilliant. Hmm. But because it's sitting in the 12th house, he decided not to go. If he wanted, he could go. But Jupiter in the 8th house is not good for Siddhamsha. Jupiter is a Karaka for education. Okay. If this was sitting in some favorable house and aspecting that K2, he would have probably gone back. Okay. Understood what I'm trying to say. Yes. So yes. what is K2 activating for him? K2 is Dasha is activating from for him beginning. What was activating him, K2? The first Ashwini. 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 Ashwini is Aries. Aries is what? 11th house. What went to his mind? Was education on his mind or profit making? Profit making money. money. Yes. Because Venus is aspecting, if you see here in the chart, Venus is aspecting Yeah, Aries. Aries. So, Aries is active for him here in the Siddhamsha chart. Okay. He said, I am education. I don't need education. I will educate people. Hmm. I will make my own software and I will educate people. So that means this I become very important for him. 
Ketu is sitting in the 12th house. Ketu Mahadesha began. He dropped out of school and rest is history. He created then Microsoft. And if we try to see the Navamsha, like it, it yeah, is... Navamsha also, what will happen is uh, uh, Navamsha, his 12th house is active. Aries is active for the first first two years, four months. Yeah. Of his Ketu Mahadesha begins. Yeah. 12th house, not interested in going to school. If 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 his fifth house, ninth house were active, he would have gone to school and he has completed his school. Oh. He met Steve Bomber in his Harvard school. Steve Bomber went on to finish his education and later on became the CEO of Microsoft. Correct, correct, correct. Bill Gates dropped off. He knew Steve Bomber from his Harvard school day, school days. Okay. Yeah. Who became the CEO? Okay, interesting. Okay, one final thing and we'll wrap up, Babaji. Because I just got, an, um, you know, just a couple of uh, weeks ago, we came to know that the king of England, King Charles III, uh -huh. he has been diagnosed with cancer. Now, what level of cancer and what is that, we do not know. Uh -huh. That is yet to come out or some fact-checking is being done. Some people have been saying he has got this cancer, that cancer. Nobody knows. If there is an official communication, I am not aware of it. But let us go quickly to his chart and see uh, just because we are interested in knowing how this dasha works, we said we saw marriage, we saw career, we saw change in transformations, you know, education, everything. Let us see health. Yeah. So currently, this is a you know King Charles chart. What Mahadasha is he running at the moment? He, he is running Jupiter. Jupiter Mahadasha. Okay. Okay. Now this is a tricky Mahadasha because one part will fall yeah. here. You know. Yes, yes. So what, what phase is he going through now? He's going through the... Uh, the so each is 16 oh. years, 5 years, 4 months. 5 years, 4 months, yes. So if I add, a, uh, you know, 10 years, 8 months to this, it would be 2023, which means 2 cycles are over. 5 yeah, years, 4 months, cycle, 5 years. Over. Third cycle is... Uh, he's running the 3rd cycle. Correct. In 3rd cycle... So 2003, 2003, oh sorry, 2023, uh, October, he has finished the second cycle because 10 years, eight months, Correct. five years, four months, five years, four months, 10 years, eight months. So if we add 10 years, eight months to this 2013, it will be 2023. September around. November, November. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, 10 years, eight months, uh, it would be... Um, Eight months, September, 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 mm -hmm. 09, September, okay. Since September, he has started his uh, third phase. Mm. Now, which sign will be active for him right now? Tell me. After September 2023, which sign would should be active? The third phase of Jupiter. Mm. So, this will be the fixed sign. <laughs> Fixed sign, exactly. So it should activate, uh, what should activate for him? Aquarius. Aquarius. Uh, the first, okay. The first quarter Aquarius. Ah, Aquarius. First quarter Aquarius. Absolutely brilliant. You're right. First quarter. Yes. So first quarter will be how many months? How Ma much? How long is uh, how long is uh, Jupiter Mahadasha? 16, 16 months. 16, 16 <laughs> months. So from September 2023, 16 months, his 8th house is active. Oh, okay. What so is 8th house? Currently going now. Yes. Oh. yes. What is 8th house? Chronic ailments. Hmm. If this has an aspect of a planet which is malefic, even more, Saturn is aspecting it. Oh, okay. okay. Mars is aspecting it. 4th aspect of Mars is there. Oh, and 7th aspect of Saturn is there. Yes. Very tough. Very tough time. Six next sixteen months. Yes. <clears throat> then after so it, sixteen months, uh, then it will be uh, after sixteen months is the next brilliant question that you asked me before. It has to go to another fixed sign of uh, Jupiter, which is another fixed sign of Jupiter. Uh, 
it will be it should be scorpio scorpio okay yeah isn't it yes yes so, so it should vishakha, be the... vishakha two three four four exactly Correct. so mars is there hmm okay so so that is how you'll have to actually see Okay, so Mars is there, so is it possible that he might have some surgery again or something like that? Exactly, exactly. We don't know. That's why we'll have to wait. So after 16 months, it is Mars which is going to be active, which is sitting in the fifth house for me. I am wondering if there something has to be there with the stomach area or stomach uh, region, like pancreatic cancer, <laughs> liver cancer, something in the abdomen area. Okay. Cancer of the abdomen okay we don't know let's we are speculating but we know that mars is aspecting fourth aspect is on aquarius saturn seventh aspect is on aquarius and now aquarius is active for him so currently it's a very tough time very 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 tough time absolutely absolutely so this so, is till january 2025 16 months yes it's from september 2023 Yes. yes, very tough time. Hmm. Yes, 16 months means 12 plus 4. So, September 2025, it will be going on till. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then we'll yes. see what will unfold after January 2025. Is there an operation that they will say because Mars is involved? Hmm. Mars or K2, anyways, there could be operation. Yes. Okay, so very interesting times because till that Saturn is Saturn in transit is also going over Aquarius. Remember that. Oh, I see. Transit Saturn is also going over there, and Rahu will enter into Aquarius. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. In future, I'm saying. Yes, another one year around it will appear. Yes, so. That means it is tougher time. See, even the planets which are sitting, um, you know, twelfth to that house and second to that house will have an influence on that house. Which means if Rahu or Ketu are in the twelfth to Aquarius, which is Capricorn or Spice. Nadi, these are Nadi principles. Yeah. Seventh house will influence one, five, nine, seven, and two and twelve. Okay. Great. <laughs> So now Rahu is also impacting from Pisces. Rahu is impacting because Rahu is retrogation. No, it's impacting it. Yeah, okay. Sitting in the second house. Brilliant. Okay. So now one last question I have. Suppose hypothetically King Charles is seeing this video <laughs> and he is thinking what should I do, what should I not do. So what would you say that after... 16 months of this, you might need a surgery and you might improve or what, what would you say? I would say, you know, why? What is the, what is Aquarius? It's a fixed sign. Hmm. Aspected by Saturn yeah. and Mars. Saturn is something which is old. And what is fixed signs? It's connected to the plant kingdom, vegetable kingdom. Oh. Okay. I would highly recommend him to go on to some Ayurveda traditional Chinese medicines, some old holistic healing modalities will help him because Saturn is aspect. Saturn is old. Prachin Vidya. Okay. okay. Which will not help. Because Mars is influencing, he might go to a surgery even now. They might ask him to go for a surgery. Okay, because of the aspect. Okay. Aspect. Mars aspect, fourth aspect is there on Aquarius right now. And one question uh, I have here, because these are like activating the zodiac signs and not literally the planets, but we will still take the planetary aspect and not the... We last will one. also take... Uh, one more thing. We will also take the energies of the nakshatra which is there. We should remember at the back of the mind what is activating now for him. Purva Bhadrapada is active. Okay. Saturn just entered into Purva Bhadrapada yesterday. Yes, yes. 6th April. 6th April it has entered. Purva Badrapada. Saturn is... So it is not a great time for him. Hmm. Because when the activated nakshatra in the three bhagi, you have a malefics going through. 
You will also see, go and look at the chart, today's chart. Mars is also going to enter into Purvavadrabada very, very soon, maybe in a few days. Yeah, and I think last two days, Moon was hemmed, you know, or even because, now. Exactly. So maybe he's going through a lot of, you know, consultations with doctors, whether to go for surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, what is... Rahu is radiation. Oh, Rahu is radiation. Correct, correct. Hmm. Radiotherapy, chemotherapy. So those things are to be, maybe he's going through a lot because Mars and Saturn, both are highly stringent malefic planets, are entering into the Tribhagi Nakshatra Dasha system, which is Purva Bhadrapada. And after the... the first part, yeah, after this this first 16 months, then Vishaka will be active and Vishaka can... Vishaka also... fourth will. Exactly. Vishaka can have something to do again. Remember, Vishaka means split. Yeah, there can be confusion. This is not working. Sir, that's not working. What should I do? Absolutely. That's why. And Mars is also influencing there. And because this has second, third, fourth pada, so this confusion will be very long. 16 months into three. Into, Exactly. Ah, okay. Interesting. That sums up. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? So, Babaji, I know this was a lengthy session, but I hope uh, your uh, viewers have really gotten to grips with this system because this is one system I feel was missing to interpret Vimshotri Dasha. This, see, there are so many different techniques of interpreting the Vimshotri Dasha. This is ah. another layer of the new technique, which is an improvised technique of late Professor A.V. Sundaramji. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I improvised it. I have tested it. Please use even Varga. You can see career-related issues. Look at D10 chart and look at the activated sign, zodiac sign. Mm. That should give you the, uh, you know, clue. Ah, okay. Okay. So we have to combine everything. Vargas, we have to see the sign, we have to see the nakshatra, planetary aspects, everything, and then it fits then it fits because it becomes much easier. But one caveat and one caution and disclaimer, never go to the Varga if you are unsure of the time. Otherwise, your complete effort will be completely futile. Okay. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because, see, the Rashi will change every two hours, 120 minutes. But, uh, you know, the other Varga charts, like 30 minutes, your the uh, Navamsha will change. 17 minutes, your Dashamsha will change. Your uh, uh, D60 chart, Sashamsha will change every two minutes. Correct. So if you are uncertain of the time, don't even go into the Varga, which means divisions. Yes. If you are pakka, you are assured, your time is corrected, then use the Varga. It will work very, very wonderfully. Supremely wonderfully. I think that's true with this system and with any other system also, but specifically this system because then the wrong because the house will be yes, and that can be used as a way of rectification. <laughs> okay. Can can when your sixth Rashi or sixth Bhava is active in the Navamsha, can you get married? Absolutely not. So then what you do? Move a little bit so that it becomes the seventh. If they say that this, this period only I got married, exactly the opposite. So the seventh should be active. Seven should so that means you have to move the lagana of the Navamsha. Yeah. So that it becomes the seventh. Or the fifth. Why is fifth important? It is eleventh from seventh. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even Navamsha Lagana is active, also marriage can happen. Why? Because seventh from seventh, Bhavad Bhav. Mm, that's like yes. Anytime it can happen. Okay. Then next rule, marriage. Venus aspecting that house or Jupiter aspecting that house, marriage can happen. Mm. In the Navamsha, I'm talking about. Correct, correct, correct. The activated Pribhagi house, Rashi, is aspected by Venus or aspected by Jupiter in the Navamsha can also give marriage. That is like Jupiter Venus decides to bless, then why can, can't it not happen? Nobody can take, yeah, exactly. Right? So these are all the nuances you should know. I, you know, there are so many such additional information, 
but first start with the system, start interpreting, then use the Parashari concepts. Use very, very simply use the Parashari concepts. You will get the very good results. Now that leg where I'm saying that it is coming from the past, future, if you don't want to leave that, leave that. For the being, at least start with the three yeah. bagi, see what houses is active. You can add later on in your study and your analysis later on, you can keep adding. Yes, yes, I'm sure yes, I would be hearing this like I'm directly hearing from you. So I understood everything. But if somebody is, you know, just seeing this as a recorded session and if they are not very well versed with all this, they might have to see two, three, at, at least two times in my opinion. Uh, if but, you look at it, but also take a pen and paper and start doing your calculations because we are doing it in our head because we have been doing this so many times, but for the, a newbie or somebody who is trying to try this system, get a pen and paper. I always sit with my pen and paper. I always I'm scribbling, you know, the dates, add addition, subtraction, little bit of math you have to do here because no other software is giving you this. Ah, okay. I, I think there's some work left at least <laughs> for us to do. <laughs> yes. Yes, Babaji. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Arjun Paiji. Uh, it was an incredible experience learning this Dasha from you personally, like face-to-face, -face, incredible. And also even better was to see the examples and to see Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. So viewers, please uh, watch this video if you made it so far till the end. <laughs> then I'm sure you are very much a genuine seeker of astrology. And I congratulate you if you understood this technique fully and please use it and please share your feedback in the comments. And most importantly, send your best wishes to Paisar for his overall well-being. Uh, so, yeah, that is all. Thank perfect. you. Thank you very much, Babaji. Once again. Babaji, yeah. Thank you. Grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.